What's going on everybody? This is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions and today I'm going to really really quickly show you how to connect your iMac to a HD 1080p television via an HDMI cable. Now, I'm not talking about the latest version of the iMacs, the 2011-2010 models, the 21.5 or the 27 inch. I'm talking about the older versions which had a different DVI port. Nowadays, all Macs and MacBooks carry mini display ports and nothing else. Back in the day, and I'm talking about model versions between 2007 and 2009 possibly, we had mini DVIs. And mini DVI looks something like this. And let me put it down and I'm gonna focus it for you. Right about there. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a mini DVI port, not the mini display port. Now, if you're confused, then look at this picture and it's not what you want to be using. If you have a different or newer Mac, I suggest you visit a different video because this only supports older versions of Macs. As simple as it sounds, all you're going to do is plug in your HDMI cable into the HDMI adapter just like, just like that. And then on the back of your Mac, you're going to take this wire, this wire right here, and connect the mini DVI into the mini DVI port, which is right there. I'll turn that around right about there and that's how it's supposed to look so small recap what you're gonna have is your mini DVI adapter into your iMac connected to an HDMI cable running from your computer all the way across to your TV and this ladies and gentlemen is my 40 inch LED Samsung TV this is the wire behind it running all the way from here all the way Back to my Mac. Now that you have that set up, you're going to go into your system preferences right there and you're going to select displays. Now you can type in detect displays and your screen should go blue. If not, then it's already set up. Then you can go into your arrangement and you can set up your iMac screen wherever you want. Now all you have to do is turn on your TV and connect it to the appropriate source that's HDMI 1, 2, 3, or 4, or how many ever HDMI inputs you have and if this still does not work go back to your iMac go into your system preferences and select displays and then here you should of course have your iMac display set to your highest resolution then try going to click on detect displays once it detects the display you should see another window pop up from system preferences saying your TV name right above here mine's of course Samsung so that's what it's going to say and here you can select your resolution. Of course, I'm going to select 1080p and my refresh rate is 60 hertz. Rotation, of course, standard. And you are done. Now, if I drag my mouse over to the left and pass my iMac screen, you will see my TV all the way over there is being controlled by this mouse. Now, sometimes your TV screen shows exactly what your computer screen is showing. And to change that, you're going to go up to this icon right here. Let me zoom in that for you, this little TV kind of set icon. Click on that, and you're going to select Turn Off Mirroring. Right now it's off for me, so I can turn it back on. And my TV, and my TV is going to show exactly what my iMac is seeing. Another really cool thing about this is that if you hit your Spaces button, just like that, you can see that you have two displays for every space. Right over here, I'm in my first space, and you can see this is my iMac, and the one beside it is my television. I'm going to get out of there, and that's pretty much it. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks a lot for watching. This is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on these videos and channel, and I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.